Johnson for um, shepherding this legislation and hoping that we can bring some relief to residents in time for Christmas this year, which is right around the corner. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman Brandon. Uh, with that said, I will now call the vote. Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? Lee Martin, Committee Clerk. Roll call vote, Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Introduction 1657A, Chair Espinado. Aye, vote aye. Chin. Uh, permission to say a few words before I vote? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Chair. Um, I want to take this opportunity as a reminder that system-wide reform for vendor enforcement and licensing is possible and remains my top priority. Intro 1116, which I'm proud to sponsor, will not only create a dedicated enforcement unit, it will also create a street advisory board to make policy recommendations related to street vending that will support vendors, as well as the brick and mortars, pedestrian and residents that they share the street with. I hope to have the continued support of my council colleagues to once and for all make vendor reform a reality. And I'm proud to support my colleague, uh, Council Member Brendan, on his legislation, I vote aye. Cool. Aye. Kozlowitz. I just want to say that I love Dyker Heights, and I go there every Christmas to see the beautiful lights, and I am happy to vote aye. Brennan. Uh, again, with thanks to Chair Espinal and Speaker Johnson for, for helping get this done, and with an invite, standing invite to all my colleagues to so the new and improved vendor free, hopefully, uh, Diker Lights, I vote aye. Powers. I uh, will take you up on that tour, and I heed your wishes to make the street by street and block by block of Diker Heights a better place during the holidays, so I will vote aye. My vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, with that said, this meeting is adjourned.